Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 493. I am your host, Keith Andrew, the one and only Keith Andrew, and you're watching the Keith Andrew Network. Today, I'm here with the talented, talented, and beautiful Joan Mack, and I just want to say thank you for being a guest on my talk show. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. Now, the honor is all mine. Mm -hmm. For people who want to know what my talk show is about, the whole point of my talk show is to show people that even if I haven't learned disability, I can still amount to something, and at the same time, I'm able to turn myself into an example for people out there dealing with any types of learning disabilities and disabilities to never give up and prove people wrong. Prove to them that labels do not dictate who you are and who you're going to be, and you should prove to them you can break the labels. So, hashtag break the labels. So, that being said, you know, a half hour of your time, we can just jump right into it. I know I just killed two minutes of it. <laughs> but with that being said, what can you tell us about yourself? Uh, uh, well, let's see. I'm an um, actor, a musician, um, producer, and a philanthropist. Kind of combination of those things. So. <clears throat> oh, nice. Don't mind me. I'm just fighting something off. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> me too. I still have my allergies. Yeah, it's that time of the year. It the is. Spring. <laughs> Then the first question I was going to ask you before we go about your acting career is who influenced, <laughs> actually I was going to jump into the acting first, let's ask you a couple of easy questions first and we can go to the hard hitting ones. First okay. one is, what did you major in and were you a study nerd or party animal? Oh, okay, well, <laughs> I, uh, I did major in theater and film and I went to NYU and uh, I did study pretty hard, although my college uh, experience was a lot of fun, so it kind of was like a party being in an in a art school, such as I went to NYU, so it's, uh, it's you know, very creative people, very smart people, um, so it felt like a party, although it wasn't a typical college party situation, but I definitely, I definitely studied hard, yeah, I definitely dedicated myself. I think it's important to do that. No, absolutely. What about, did you, did you ever do any sports? Did you ever want to be athletic or a pro? Yeah, actually, um, well, sports, I mean, I've danced my whole life. I've been, a, a, you know, I started very, very young dancing, tap dancing and ballet and jazz and all that. Um, and it kind of led me into just being, you know, in, in I think, well, let me, <laughs> never mind the phone. Um, in, in college, or not college, and in grade school, I was, um, you know, let me, let me mute that. Let me mute that. Hey, anything can happen live. I have that effect on people. <laughs> I know, of course, somebody's calling me and needs me right now, of course. Um, anyway, um, no, I started running in, in, in grade school, and I was uh, doing a lot of track and field. Uh, but then I, I, all of my life I danced and did yoga, and eventually it just led me to, I don't know, I love being athletic. I love, I'm not a sports player necessarily, but I love being athletic, if that makes sense. Just yeah. the movement, it's good. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> I love sports, <laughs> but I really don't have the hand-eye coordination for it. <laughs> Yes, yeah. It's, I mean, some people are just gifted naturally, you know, athletes, just like anything. You know, some people are natural poets, some people are athletes. It's, it's, yeah, it's true. It does take some kind of definite skill. But I think, I think athletics can help everybody, honestly. It, you don't have to be the best at it. I think just some kind of discipline, physical use of your body is great for you, great for everybody. No, I agree. Now, the last question I was going to ask you, the easy one. Is, did you ever get the chance to do one of those human pyramids or not into the whole human pyramid stuff? Oh, I, well, no, I've never done one. <laughs> That's still, I guess that should be on the bucket list. I still haven't done one of those yet. I'm a loser. I love that stuff. Yes, yes. I was a cheerleader in, in junior high for a little bit. So we did, I don't remember if we did pyramid or not, but we did a lot of the cheering stuff. So. Would you ever be interested in doing one? Perhaps, yeah. I've never, I've never given it thought, but I will, I will definitely, yeah, consider it. <laughs> I think why not? <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm gonna have this person. Hey, they need to go to the machine. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So. Now the next question I was gonna say to you because you're very beautiful. Have you ever thought about being just a model, or who influenced you to become a model and an actress? Well, you know, I did, I did model when I was a kid, and I started started very young. Oops, sorry. Of course, of course. Okay, hold on. Somebody's leaving a message. Okay, there we go. Um, I did model when I... <laughs> it's like always on live 
live live radio or whatever. Um, I did model when I was a kid, um, and I modeled it a little bit in, in like throughout my teenage years and in New York. But um, it wasn't something I pursued full on. I was always interested in doing acting and performing and things like that. So um, modeling was fun because I did do it sometimes for extra cash and and just to you know just to get out there. Um, but yeah, I never I never pursued it full on professionally. Do you have any regrets? No, no, I feel, I mean, I, while I love doing modeling, I mean, my fulfillment really does come from, from creating, like, music and acting and things like that. I think I'm definitely, you know, I like being both in front of the camera and behind the camera. I like, I like both aspects of it very much. No, yeah, same here. I used to be the same way. I used to hate being on camera, and you can see, for, if, for a perfect plug, you can go, <laughs> I don't know why I'm sorry, I haven't done my interviews out of the way. So, basically... You all can go to my website, the Keith Angie Network, brand new talk series called Flashbacks, and you get to see all my early work. Basically, you know, I'll give you an example. How you see the reflector, let's say, there you are. See how to reflect it on a computer screen? You know, that's how I record it because I didn't want to be seen. Because, you know, I do have social anxiety and I'm socially awkward around people. So I'm using this as therapy for myself. So I'm showing you, look at a kid who reads and learns at a fifth, fifth grade level, look at what he's capable of doing. You know, it's labeled handicapped, mentally disturbed, retarded. So I'm showing people I can break that label. So going back to how the talk show series is I did not want to be seen. I was like you, I wanted to be behind the camera. And people are like, if you're really going to take this seriously, you know, you really need, you know, get your head out, <laughs> head out of your ass and say, this is what you want to do for the rest of your life? Prove it. You have to throw yourself in the middle of traffic, not right away, throw yourself in the middle of traffic, but put yourself in the middle of it and say, this is who I am, and this is who I'm going to be until I die. So you watch season one and two, you know, I was always in the tiny little box, now I'm center of attention so you can see the transition for the past five years four and a half years this june would be five years and then you great. go i'll go back go ahead oh no no i said that's great you've come a long way i mean that's amazing right there you know just from where you started to now that's proof right there that's great and to go back to you you mentioned the same thing how you just wanted to be behind the camera and now look at you you're in the center you're pretty much sum up everything but i just said you know how you want to be behind but if you really mm -hmm. work at something long enough and say just what i want to do blah 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 you have to prove it absolutely absolutely i think i think that life makes you do that you know it's the way life is set up it makes you do you really want something will show how much you really want it and then that's dedication and sacrifice and hard work and all the things that you know like even you did to get where you are now it takes getting over your fears and that's you know that's hard for all of us I think no absolutely now the next question I was gonna ask you is social media does social media dictate your career or does it influence your career um, well, you know, it's funny, I, I started really young before social media was really in existence, so it's interesting to see how it's changed the, the industry in general. Um, I don't know if it, it completely controls it, but it definitely influences it, I think for sure. I think there's new opportunities now that are available when you're out there on social media uh, in ways that weren't before, which is great. Um, people see you in a different light. Um, things are more personal now, you know, and even in the world of, you know, actors and celebrities and whatnot, <clears throat> we get more of a glimpse into the real life than, you know, back in the day when it was just very removed. So I think it's done a lot of wonders. I mean, I think it definitely brings opportunity. I, I, I happen to like it. I think it's, a, it's very interesting how it's evolved humanity, and it, it will continue to evolve humanity, I think. No, absolutely. My other question I was going to ask you is do you think your following influences your career or is the message? i give you an example of what I mean by that. You might have, I didn't find your Twitter, so I'm just saying mm -hmm. you might have a couple thousand people following you. Now, should people work with you just because of that? 
arc, then you have someone like May who doesn't have a big following, but he has a message. So how do you kind of balance the two out? Like, who deserves what? That's a good question, because nowadays, especially with numbers on social media, you can't always trust the numbers, I always say, because there's, you know, there's tricks and things that people do to get their followers up. Um, and I, I'm always a firm believer in the message being the most important thing, no matter what. Because, I, I mean, that other stuff is cool, and it, it's important, but it's not as important as the message. The message is always the most important thing. You know, I think nowadays, because there's so much noise out there, you know, you have to have a strong message. So if you have a strong message, those who are ready to receive it will respond. It's kind of like that. You will find your audience. No, Definitely. absolutely. In my last question, I know you're short on time. So the last <laughs> the subject I, I do want to talk to you about is, have you ever worked with people with disabilities? And are you willing to work with people with disabilities? Uh, yes and yes, actually. Yes, I have. Um, and it's always a pleasure and it's always a, um, I, I love learning. I love learning about different people and their experiences. I think maybe that's the actor, psychi psychology, psychiatrist side of me. But I love people's stories. So to me, <clears throat> the, you know, the more diverse of the people I get to work with, it, it, to me, it is more enriching for me. I enjoy it. So yes, I have. And yes, absolutely, I would. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm a perfect candidate for that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now, I do have a couple questions for you off the air, and this is a very special. I don't usually do short interviews because I, I'm not that type of person. But for you, yeah. I will make an inception. Thank but you. wrapping up, you know, when I first approached you to be a guest on my talk show, what was your first reaction and what, you know, what made you say yes? Mm -hmm. And also, are you on Twitter, Instagram, Stage32? Are you on that fun stuff? Yes. Yeah. All of that. Um, well, when you first approached me, I, 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 um, I, I didn't, I didn't know. So I asked you for your links and I checked you out on YouTube and I was actually really, I, your message is what got me to say, yeah. I mean, honestly, like when you, you said what you were dealing with, with and what you had gone through, I, I just thought, you know, that's something I support and I think more people should support that. So I'm happy to do it. This is my honor to do it, you know? So I was happy to be asked, um, after I watched you, I think, I forgot the actress, you had an interview with an actress, but I just thought, I liked it, it was very, you know, matter of fact, and, and, and your message is strong, and I know there's a lot of people out there who need to hear it. I know there are, for sure. So, let's get it out there. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking forward to part two with you down the road, and then we have longer Absolutely. time going deeper. Yeah, no, I would love that. Well, this summer I have some stuff coming up, so maybe we can revisit this summer or something. I have some things I'm working on. Oh, absolutely. So maybe we can, yeah, Are whenever. You based, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, so whatever's convenient for you. Are you based in New York or not really? I'm based. Well, sometimes in New York, but I'm based in LA right now. But I do, I do come to. I used to, you know, I used to go to school there. I live there, so uh, I'm still an East Coaster at heart. I love it there. Yeah, but I don't get as. As often, I don't get back as often as I'd like to. Hopefully, soon I will. Maybe you can, yeah, New York. Get, maybe you can get lunch or something, do a live interview. Oh, that would be fun, actually. That would be really. Are you where? Are you in Manhattan or are you near Manhattan? I, I'm an hour and a half. Hour and a half. Hey. <laughs> I'm a hour and a half away. I'm near like West Point, near Woodbury Commons. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not that bad then. Yeah, absolutely. We could do like an interview with a lunch. That would be fun, like a live thing. That would be really cool. I appreciate absolutely. it. Stay tuned for after the show. I do have a cool question for you. Uh, wrapping up your interview segment, it was a real honor and privilege to have you as a guest. And I'm looking Thanks. forward to part two down the road. You got it. Thank you so much, Keith. It was a pleasure. Very Arlene Schofield. My name is Shireen Snow. My name is Carla A. Miles. I'm Diana Camuto. This is Christine Dunford. I'm me, Eden. Charlie Macy. This is Walker Fannin. Maria Camille Dixon. My name is Adate Wardam. My name is Linda Preston, and you're watching the Keith Andrew Network. It's Russo. The me, Mark Medley. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Neely. Barry Pavic. This is Peter Bruno. My name is Kyle Collier. This is Santiago, uh, better known as Dynamite. I'm Richard Epcar. This is Gary and Mayhan. And this is Golder. And we both support Keith Andrew. And my name is Ron Wasserman, and I am supporting Keith Andrew and what he is doing. And you better do the same, or I'm going to come kick your ass.